everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Music Biz Weekly Podcast, brought to you by HypeBot.com. As always, lots of love to Bruce and everybody you, over Bruce. at HypeBot for everything you do, supporting this show, supporting the music industry. Um, can't recommend enough. Go read HypeBot. Great source the for best. news, tips, advice. They've got it all over there. So, Jay. We have a special guest joining us this week. We do. We're, we're thrilled. We have a really uh, great guest this week. We have Jonathan Stone, who is the co-founder and president of Rocket Songs, and we will let him tell you a little bit more about that. Jonathan, welcome to our little show. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Michael. It's good to be here. So what is Rocket Songs? Um, well, I'll give you what they call the, uh, the elevator pitch. Sure. <laughs> Not that we're we not do any of that. But uh, uh, it's basically we're a website that connects uh, artists who are looking for original songs to record okay. with producers, publishers, and songwriters who are looking to get their songs covered. So uh, that's, that's basically it. Uh, in other words, if you're an independent artist out there and you wake up one day and you decide that you would like to record an original song as opposed to covering Bruno Mars or covering Mar Miley Cyrus and, and getting attention that way, which is very viable, as we all know. But you decide you want an original song because at some point, if you want to be an artist uh, um, in the traditional sense, so to speak, you are going to need an original song. You're going to have to write it yourself or you're going to have to get it from somebody. But at some point, you're probably not going to have a big hit, uh, zoom up the billboard charts, singing a... Miley Cyrus, your version of Miley Cyrus. So our idea was just to create this uh, database of original songs from professional songwriters and publishers that they have uh, in their vaults or on their shelf or however you want to describe that, uh, that they want to make available for, uh, for, for recording, for covering. And uh, so we've done that. And the independent artist logs into our site and we've got all the licensing options and, of course, the typical search uh, techniques that you would use to yeah. go through the catalog and find country pop rock. And uh, you, in a sense, you kind of, uh, to use an old term, I guess, pitch yourself songs. Yeah. Uh, and uh, once you find something that you think works for you. There's a lot of different options. I love the site. I love the interface. And I'd love to talk more about that in a minute. Sure. But the first thing that kind of pops into my head is it seems like a really cool thing if you're an independent songwriter. Now you've got uh, an audience of people who could potentially record your song, could potentially use it for sync licensing, you know, any number of things. Do you help folks who, let's say I'm an indie artist and I've written this song, but uh, you know, I've recorded it, but I don't have a publishing deal and I don't know the ins and outs of that. Do you help indie artists with um, publishing or any other kind of education? Not really. I mean, we we're, we answer lots of questions and, and they run the gamut, as you can imagine. When when you put up a music site and you create access for, uh, for customers as such or members, people ask you all kinds of questions. And most of the people that come to the site uh, are you know trying to get somewhere with their music? They're trying to get they're trying to get uh, uh, artists that come to the site are looking for songs to record. Um, so we'll we'll give them whatever advice they need. We have partnerships and affiliate relationships with people that we connect them to for distribution, uh, for production. That's not really our core business. Our core business is there's lots of things you can you can sort of get into, but our core business is really let's find you a great song. It's the old axiom you've heard. Hey, it all begins with a song. If you're going to have it's a true. career, everybody, sure. I tell people all the time, everybody, if you're in the music business in any way, pretty much, um, uh, at some point, uh, everybody needs a good song. A record company needs it. A manager needs it for the client. An artist needs it. Um, producers need a great song. Just a matter of where it comes from. So that's, what we focus on is just finding great material, putting it up on the site, letting people come and search it. But we create some, uh, we have some affiliate relationships where we direct people for. Do you um, curate 
the material that's submitted to go up on your site sort of to make sure it is good quality and it isn't just Joe who wrote his first song by converting his poem to music and wants to put it up there? We do. And that's the difference. Well, there's, I don't know that I would say the difference because we're, believe it or not, we're the only site in the world that does this. Uh, there's not another company that offers this kinds of licensing, these kinds of licenses for, for this particular, the covering of original songs. There are some individuals out there that say, hey, you know, come and listen to my material. Uh, but all the material is vetted. It's all from, if you were to go on the site, you guys have been in the music business, and if you were to go on the site and search around, you'd run into people that you probably know or companies that you've heard of. So we have the largest independent publishing company in Nashville. Combustion Music is, is one of our content partners and, and various other folks. And we're just in the process now of uh, closing a deal with Sony ATV the largest music publisher in the world. Fantastic. They've already, they've already delivered content to us. We just have a few little details to work out before we put it up. But they've given us a couple hundred songs to say, hey, what's, you know, this is really interesting. We've got catalog. Obviously, they have millions of songs. And uh, we'd like to work some of that back catalog. We know that there's synchronization opportunities for this kind of material, mm -hmm. these demos, these demo masters. But there's also... Uh, Gee, there's a way to make it available for independent artists to recover the songs, to cover the songs, and to monetize it on the front end. Sure. Hopefully we all have a hit at some point. But everything is curated. Everything is, is listened to. And we're pretty loose with that in that we're not snobby about it. I mean, we don't sit there and say, well, gee, you have to have be Diane Warren to get on our site. But we... Uh, we like to have a wide variety of genres. You'll, you'll hear some things that are very, uh, very indie that you wouldn't think anybody would ever cover that song, but they do. Um, and uh, the material that is uh, the most successful on our site generally are the big categories, but there are uh, lots of songs that get uh, recorded and cut from our website that are um, sort of eclectic, uh, indie artist type material as well but we have a lot of people that uh, if somebody's interested in putting their material up on our site to try and get covers there's a way by which they submit to us and we either say yay or nay so fo following up on that if i'm a songwriter and i submit to you is there a fee is there an upfront fee to submit or is this all a back-end sort of if if the song gets licensed then we we as in you take a cut that's how it works. There's no upfront. There's no hosting fee. If we agree to take your material, uh, this is a this is a big topic of debate in in, in the Rocket Songs uh, boardroom. <laughs> sure, I bet. <laughs> I'll tell you right now because there's lots of ways to model your business online these days. But um, the way we are doing it at this point is that it, everything is free. All the hosting is well, not everything is free, but the hosting. If we accept your songs, it's all free. We take a, a 50 50 split of the revenue, the, the licensing revenue. We don't take, and that's it. We don't take any piece of the publishing. We don't take any piece of the writers of the publishing or any of that sort of stuff from the uh, content partner. Um, so it's all to the good for them. There's, there's so literally nothing to lose for them. It's all negotiable, right? It's not like there's a statutory rate. It's really when you're, it sounds like what you're talking about is could each one of these tracks have a different financial implication? No, no, there's a, uh, I, I wouldn't say, well, when you say there's a statutory rate, we have, we have our licensing model. Right. And then, which is based primarily on an upfront license fee. Oh, so it's a licensing fee, not like a sink. Exactly. Well, it's not a sync, but we, because this is all new now, obviously there's a lot of these music companies that have started since the internet came along where you're exploring new areas, whether they're Spotify or YouTube or whatever. Oh, yeah. this, we're kind of getting into one of those areas with rocket songs where we're, we're offering what is essentially a mechanical license for you to come and cover a song, right? Because that's what would happen. If you go to a music publisher and you want to cover one of their songs, they issue you a mechanical license. Done. Is it cover, but is there another business model there where it's not just the artist going in and listening to songs that they might want to cover, but maybe a brand or something looking at songs like I could use this for my brand? Or is that uh, not the model? Don't, we don't offer sync licensing. 
Not straight away. So no, okay, not at that. Which is another topic for the boardroom. <laughs> 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 but th- th- that's come up because we are such. We have become such a uh, a fairly large library of really great songs. Yeah. So people, in fact, we we have people say approach us all the time and say we'd like to, you know, sync some of your catalog here. And so we've done. If people ask us, we connect our content partners, right? Yeah. With the person making the request, because some people just end up on our site looking for yeah. content. Yeah. And, it, they, and, and it so we, we do do that. Yeah. The way that you have your, like, especially under find a song, right. that looks to me like any of the publishing company systems or major systems where they break it out by genre, beats per minute, those sure. kinds of things. So it'd be very intuitive for someone who's looking for music for film, TV, you know, whatever commercials to kind of go through and find something that way. But what you're saying is that's not really where you're at right now. The model is really here's some great songs and maybe, you know, Taylor maybe Swift, you record them. her people will look on there and go, that is a great song. I want to put that on my new album. I'm looking that's for great exactly songs. what we do. So the other thing happens by default. <laughs> The sync license does happen occasionally. If 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 I'm a songwriter, how how finished, how complete, how how done does the song yeah, have can it be to a be? Demo? Can I yeah? Can I upload a demo? Can I can I upload just the music? Because I haven't written lyrics for it yet, but I've got Great this question. awesome riff or just an awesome instrumental. Can you? How, how does that work? You allow that stuff. Yeah, there are a lot of sites that offer that do allow you to upload, uh, you know, just instrumentals or, or just uh, demos. Uh, a riff, a be- a, uh, such as beat port, a beat port type model or something sure. like that. But our our model is based on complete songs that have lyrics. Okay, so gotcha. that's where it starts. It okay. starts with you know uh, you have to be able you can't just give us an instrumental that doesn't have any lyrics or anything like it. it, it you know, whatever an instrumental what if it is an instrumental like it's a jazz song or something that's not applicable it really has yeah, to be i think i think there's a a place by which you could see that that would work but it's not what we do at the moment it's not your wouldn't, model right i wouldn't now. i wouldn't no i wouldn't imagine that there would be a lot of instrumental artists looking for other in, original instrumentals to go and record but, we, but almost uh, i would say uh 50 or 60 percent of the songs on our site we also offer the instrumental version of Oh, okay. Because a lot of people come to our site, well, they're artists or they're yeah. managers or whatever, and they'll download the instrumental version of a song they hear, sure. and then they put their vocal on it. Well, yeah, that that that's that sort. I'm sort of thinking, yeah, you know, now if I'm an artist looking for material, I might have a great lyric, and I just don't have the music to go with it. Yeah, and we don't do that. You know, if you've got a great lyric, then you're going to have to find somebody else to write the music to it because we deal in completed songs. Gotcha. They're already written and they're being made available for covering or recording. And we do get that question. And uh, there was a like, I bet like. Like any song, there's also interpretation where someone could want to record the song, but they might want to change a line. I mean, well, then the question comes up where people want to collaborate. But as you get into the collaboration part of the business with the sort of a and and turn it into kind of a public facing business, it gets a little complicated because you get into dealing with songwriter splits between, uh, say, the novice and the pro that you're representing on the site. And you're getting into publishing splits and who's going to collect this new work that's been created between one of your customers and say your, uh, your professional content partner. Um, so you can get into lots of, uh, uh, sort of, sort of copyright management issues. Sure. Like people sure. creating a new song. Right. Yeah. Uh, and, and we actually very early on, we did experiment a little bit with that. And uh, I think that, I think it's it's really viable, but it requires uh, it's a little bit of a different model and requires yeah. um, that somebody really you have a really thorough tracking system to keep track of things and so so different so, levels so of complexity. Possible, there, but we're not right? a collaboration site. Let's just right, understand. Right. I guess so, so. So I understand clearly, and yes. our listeners, you can't go in there, find a song you like, and read and 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 
add to the lyrics. You can't rewrite the lyrics. You can't you can't drop their music out completely and put your music underneath their their lyrics. You've got to use the song as it was it was put up on your site. Uh, theoretically, that that's true. But a lot of people we have, for instance, one of the things that's really uh, happened with our business has become very international because there's a lot of people around the world that are looking for great. English speaking pop music and, and we sort of uh, focus on, on pop music because it's pretty universal. Pop music pretty much plays everywhere. You can't say that about country or rap, but every country in the world, uh, traditional type pop music, whether they call it K-pop or J-pop or right. whatever you want to call it, it, it all sort of, it, it's all very similar sounding. So, uh, uh, you know, that's really, uh, you know, the primary, the primary focus for us. And internationally, um, you know, we've got a lot of people that come to the site and uh, translate the lyrics. But generally speaking, you're not allowed to change the lyrics to any of these songs without getting permission. Yeah, but that makes we sense. Get, we do get people that ask, and we've, we've accommodated folks, but we don't generally allow them to come in as a... Gotcha co-writer or co-publisher or things like that. But if somebody wants to change a few lyrics, we're pretty open to that. But so, a complete so, rewrite of a song is not what we are, don't are, do. You're, you're also not providing, or I should say, are, are you providing a connection between the customer who wants the song and the writer? Is there going to be a direct contact between those two people offline? Or are, are you basically, no, there, there's no direct contact with the songwriter. It's all through us, Rocket Songs. Most of it is through us, but there can be uh, one of the one of the services that we or one of the licenses that we offer is uh, the master license, where people come in and actually license the original master files of the song they're hearing on our site, the stems, the, the pro tools. The logic, sure. They can come in and actually get because they hear it and they go, "Boy, I love what they did here. I just want the way more it is. than just a two track <laughs> instrumental version of this. I want to take this and take it into my." studio facility and really be able to work on it so um um yeah you know we we do we do that and uh to the extent that those people want to connect and work together we're all for it well let me ask you about you you were mentioning that you have some publishing uh, you know, like atv and you have some publishing clients do you have any songwriter deals like maybe you have a songwriter that's prolific that's putting together songs you know you've mentioned diane warren i'm just talking about an unknown diane warren you know that's somebody who do you ever strike deals with um with songwriters oh sure yeah a lot of our clients uh a lot of our content partners i should say are uh, independent songwriters that are just really good that are really yeah. good songwriters. I would say about half of our content partners are companies and half of our content partners are independent, independent writer slash producer folks who just love to get, would love to get their songs uh, out there. Yeah. yeah. Love to get them, love to get them recorded. Yeah. So we're, we're getting close to four or 500 cuts per month right now Yeah, for our content partners, which is a lot. That's a lot of, that's, that's getting a lot of cuts, yeah. but they're with, they're with independent artists. So sure, you know, you gotta keep it in context, but yeah. yeah. Now, do you, do you do you have um, songwriters that might write the song and release it on their own CD that then just also upload the songs straight to Rocket Songs? Uh, we do, we do. Uh, our definition of a quote unquote original song we talk about on our website. We offer original songs to record are songs that uh, really ha that just have not been hits. Or haven't been promoted. In so that. they they could have they they could they could be formally released. You could go to iTunes and buy that song right now. Buy the original songwriter. Oh, uh, some of them. It, it just it's never been a hit. It's never taken off. It's just never been. It's never been a hit. And you know, I think you look ten or fifteen years ago or twenty years ago, uh, before before the internet or before SoundCloud or any of any of those models, you could actually. Uh, get a song that had never been released, you know, but these days, I mean, I also have a publishing company, a traditional publishing company. All of my writers put all their stuff up everywhere. Sure. Right. Everybody right. does it. I mean, unless well, you're smart a song for Beyonce, 
or for Celine Dion, and and they specifically are saying we don't we want something. I mean, a lot of things are written specifically these days just for the artist, yeah. and and they never see the light of day. Uh, they never are put up anywhere, and they're just always written, and they go directly into the studio with the artist. So ninety nine percent of everything else, people are creating and writing, and they're putting it out there to pitch it to other artists to try and get cuts, particularly in Nashville. Um, um, and they're doing, or they're putting their own demos up on SoundCloud or they do their own little, you know, right. home videos on YouTube. Everybody puts their music up. So it's very difficult to say, you know, we're going to offer songs that nobody's ever heard before. Right. Sure. So, but but so maybe our, it wasn't their time, you know, to Michael's point, I, you know, if I'm a songwriter and I've got, you know, a couple of albums out that didn't really hit, didn't get a big audience for, but maybe it was because I was too far ahead of my time or maybe I was before the time or whatever. Now I've got a vehicle to put that there and see if somebody wants to record them, reinterpret them, whatever they want to do. Exactly. And if you were to go on our, and you know, whether or not, whether or not a song is a hit to me, uh, for the most part has very little to do with once you reach a professional level of of creation or a pr professional level of, uh, of production, uh, how good those elements are don't always have anything to do with whether or not a song has become a hit. As you guys know, there are lots that go into why a song becomes a hit. And we all still hear songs on the, uh, or, or hear songs, uh, I was going to say on the radio, it's like, geez, they're still radio. <laughs> but uh, you still hear songs or see songs out there that you think, oh, that's, that's not that good. Why is that a hit? Well, there's a lot of things that go into it. But sure. there, so there's a very high quality uh, level of material. And it's the first step in anybody's career is trying to pick out and find a great song to record. And, um, and so that's what we contend is, hey, man, you ought to come by our site and check it out and see what you find, what you find there. Um, so, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of the idea. So yeah, if, if, I, if I'm a songwriter and... And I, I want to upload some material to Rocket Songs. Yep. What do I need to have available? What material do I need to get this up on your website? Get the ball rolling. Yeah. Uh, what you would do is submit three to four songs initially. And, 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 and what, am I just uploading an MP3? Yeah, just okay. MP3. Send us... Send us three to four MP3s, and all the information on the web uh, is on the website as to how you would do that. You basically send an email to info at radarmusic.com, and excuse me, Rocket Songs. <laughs> excuse me, at rocketsongs.com. Right. And um, info at rocketsongs.com. And uh, uh, our is there any review that? And is, uh, yeah, is there any feedback touch. when somebody? Is it just everything? It goes up. Is there any way for anybody to rate them or give them any kind of feedback or not? Once the material is already up on the site, yeah. Or before, uh, no, when no. somebody submits something, is there? Oh, any if somebody of... submits, we deal with them just very privately. You know, okay. And it's not nothing goes up on the site. Nothing goes up, uh, sort of public facing until it's been approved by the A and R staff, and. Uh, and then it goes up on the site. So, so, so one, one, once you've approved it to go up on the site, what yes. other data, metadata, material is needed um, to get this up there? Uh, most of the obvious stuff. I mean, the first thing we do is we need to tag the songs. We need to accept. Once we accept, you know, we hear the first three. We heard hear the first uh, three or four songs that you've. I don't want to say auditioned, but that you've sent to us just so we know what we're dealing with. Yeah. We, we, you know, we have to have some idea. And uh, once we've accepted you as a content partner, uh, the first thing we want is anywhere from 10 to 20 songs. To come to our website and to just put up a couple of songs is kind of silly. Um, it's all about sort of putting up a body of work, creating Understood. a catalog there that gets Good some to churn know. going. Good to know. Yeah. People and do, you, in and out. do you want lyrics? If you've got just two songs, it's kind of like, yeah you know yeah do you do really do you require lyrics or do you yes. have a place for lyrics yep there's a place for <laughs> lyrics so we need what we basically need is a is mp3s of all of your cat of your songs an mp3 of your song uh we need we have to have lyrics for uh all the material because we put the lyrics up just think of it as if you were going to walk into a room and I don't know whether you guys are songwriters or not, but if you were to walk in a room or, or, or if you were a publisher and you were going to pitch an artist some songs, what would you have? You would have 
uh, a vocal version of the song and you'd have a lyric. Yeah. That's what you'd have at a minimum. Yeah. And, and so that's what you need to bring to us is the vocal version of the song and a lyric. If we accept it, we will put that song up on the site. Now, in addition to that, we've got other song products available to our members, and we would like you to participate in those things, which is the instrumental version of the song. Do you have your, uh, the, are your master files available? Are you willing to allow us to put your song on hold for three, six, three months, six months, or a year? We have, that's a, that's a product. That's a, someone pays a price to hold a song to take it off the site and to put it on hold. Understood. Yeah. So there's various things that we, that we make available. And the more of those products, those song products that you can uh, offer to our members, the more money you'll make, the more songs you put up, um, the more money you'll make. And um, it's, it's, if you've got a catalog of, of in a bare minimum of 10, but I would say if you have at least 20 songs in your catalog that you can make available, and they're good quality songs, you can start to do some business with us. You can start making a little bit of money and get a lot of covers, a lot of cuts. We're in over 80 countries right now, and uh, 75% of our catalog, this is an amazing fact to me, 75% which shows us, that tells us that this is a really, that this is, we know it's a viable business, but that this is a really great, great business to, to build on and to continue to grow. 75% of the songs that we put up on the site get, get covered, get recorded. Wow, 75 that's, really, that's, that's a pretty high percentage. And it's, it's unbelievable, right? And we've got over 3,000 songs. Yeah. So, and we're getting three, four, 400 songs covered. Now, some of those songs are the same song getting cut. You know, people cut the same song. There's different people that cut, will cut the same song unless someone puts something on exclusive. So, um, there's a lot of folks that and, are looking and, for and, and, great and original songs. I yeah. assume it's obvious if I'm a songwriter, I put a song up there. I can remove that song at any time Anytime I want, want and say, listen, it's been covered once. I don't want it ever covered again. I just, sure. for whatever personal reasons, take it down. I don't want it covered now. You can still do anything with your song as our content partner. If you're putting a song up on our site, um, you are, are given your own dashboard. And you can go in and manage the catalog, and you can uh, make them so, invisible or visible, yeah. however you like. So there's no minimum. If I put up a song, I don't have to leave it up for X period before I can. Oh open. no, it's all non-exclusive. You gotcha. can do anything you want to with your catalog. It's not exclusive. To it. us. You can put them up. You can take them down. You can do whatever you want. I I just had a, a fellow, Greg uh, Critchley here, who uh, um, just sold one of his masters to like a record company, you know, a record company type situation. And it's got a song coming out and he said, Hey, you know, we have, we have to take the song down. So, you know, it happens all the time, but that's the kind of quality. I mean, it happens a, a lot of all the time where uh, our content partners will, will take songs down, but it's, it's top quality stuff on there, you know, on the site. So it's, um, it's, uh, it's something that um, uh, we've been getting great response from, from folks and the international part of it has got us pretty excited to be honest with you yeah. about 50 percent of our business is international right now so yeah. it's interesting and we didn't market that way you know which is the thing we what marketing we've done we've done primarily here and you know in the states but uh focused or directed towards the states but it's uh of course being online right you're available everywhere it's global yep. right yep it's global whether you like it or not and and of course you like it uh, but it's been really interesting, you know, and so we're we're uh, uh, spending a lot of time thinking about that, and it just it's, just, it's very interesting that sort of the analytics that come through uh, with some of the possibilities and some of those other markets. Well, that was kind of the last question I had for you was like on the back end, if I'm a songwriter and I put this up, and you were talking about having the dashboard, what kinds of things can I see in that dashboard? Well, you'll see, it's a good question. You'll see your entire catalog that's up there and you can go in and re-tag it if you want. We initially tag all the songs with our team because we know kind of how we want to do that. Genres, subgenres. Genres, all that stuff. And we keep those buckets fairly large. We're not too specific. I mean, you notice when you go to some of the sync sites, you'll see 150 tags. 
they have yeah. tons of tags because they need to get very specific about scenes and uh, length of a clip. Uh, but we keep our, our buckets are, are pretty large, but we combine them. We combine genres and tags so that people can, can narrow things down. But we've got about 15 tags. And uh, so you can go in and you can change your tags around a little bit. Um, we have something in there, uh, which we think is pretty cool. It's called the sounds like, so you can put your song up and it sounds like Gwen Stefani. So you can sure. select Gwen Stefani. So if someone's looking for Gwen Stefani songs, they can pull down and, you know, or something, a lot of people as they will send us emails, we realize they would say, Hey, I'd kind of like something like Blake Shelton. A lot of people say that, right? It's just shorthand for looking for sure. Songs. I want something like Kiss, right? <laughs> gives you right. gives you a direction. <laughs> and so we have that down. You pull, I think we have that probably. I have Kiss in there. So you pull down the Sounds Like menu, and you can just click on Gwen Stefani, and back comes Sounds Like Gwen Stefani, back come 15 yeah. songs. Yeah. Which yeah. is pretty cool, right? Yeah. So people can find songs that way. And, uh, and in your dashboard will also be all of your transactions and all of your licenses, how many times, everything's in there, how much money you've made, yeah. Excellent. You manage cool. everything there. Yeah. Excellent. You run your you run your own little you run your own little business right from there. All about getting covers and getting cuts. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good. so it's good. so Jonathan, where where do people go on the internet to to sign up for this or to shop? Yeah, it's a rocketsongs.com. Just like just like it sounds, rocketsongs.com. And uh that'll take you right to the homepage. And if you're a singer, um uh, or an artist or, or somebody that has a project where they're uh, looking for original songs to record, you just uh, uh, you create an account. Your first song is on us. Your first song you license is free. And then you just quickly go to the find a song page and off you go. And you, you get into the search mode more mode really quickly, you know, uh, on our site. And uh, so that's... Um, you just create an account. It's, it doesn't cost anything to become a member to sign up. If you're interested in becoming a content partner, then you would just uh, go to the site and uh, send us an email. There's plenty of places, but you know, the typical contact us kind of sure information there, and then just send us an email and say it's info at rocketsongs.com, by the way. Uh, but just send us a note, an email that says, "Say I'm interested in submitting my material for." It, re it really sounds like there's no downside if you're a songwriter. Uh, you know, you can submit. There's no cost to you. You have full ownership still. You can take the stuff down. And, hey, you might actually make some money getting getting your songs covered. Yeah, well, cool, cool service. Yeah, I think so. And, and one of the things that we all know that it is, you know, and you hear and you see, uh, lots of information about how to develop, how an, an independent artist can develop their career. How can you get, everybody really just wants to develop their career and sell more products. But um, this is a way uh, by which you can uh, take the songs that you're writing and actually, you know, present them to other people to recover, uh, to cover and record and creates, uh, you know, some revenue for you upfront, regardless of whether or not the person that's recording your song as a hit or not, so you yeah. get you get uh, you get paid licensing fees regardless. Right. Yeah, super cool model. This yep. is this is really interesting, Jonathan. Thanks so Thank much you. for taking time out of your day to walk oh, sure. through this with us. I think this is really exciting. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay. Thanks. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye. Um, that was that was really cool. You know, it's always about nowadays finding a, another revenue stream. Yeah. You know. How, how, you know, selling music is tough. What else can you do to earn money? Yeah. And frankly, if you've already written a song, you even recorded your song, it's repurposing what you've already done. You've already expensed that. You've already put the time and money into doing it. Yeah. So throw it up here and maybe you can get some other artists to cover it and make yeah. money. I mean, it's it sort of, I, I sit, look at this and sit back and go, this is a way to create some mailbox money. You don't have to yeah. do anything. You did, all, right. you did all the work months ago, years ago. Sure. Throw your sure. material you, up here. 
yeah, if you want to continue to write things and put them up there, great. But to your point, man, if you uh, if you have a body of work, it's not being monetized. You know, there's no exclusivity. There's no reason why you shouldn't put it up here and see if somebody else would want to uh, record it. I think it's a super cool service. You know, and you 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 kind of stated you have material that was before its time. Well. Yeah, maybe you you wrote these songs five years ago, ten years ago, twenty years ago. Who cares? Maybe it didn't work then, but yeah. the right artist coming coming around today hears that song and goes, "Man, I know exactly how I'd cover that and and do something different." Boom. That's right. And and as Jonathan said, it doesn't matter whether it becomes a hit. You're getting a license fee for it. That's right. That's right. So uh, cool. it's a nice little revenue stream. So yeah, I. I, I Check it out. If you if you do, let us know. I'd love to hear what, what you think about uh, using Rocket Songs. All right, guys. We are out of here. Another episode of the Music Biz Weekly Podcast. Head over to HypeBot, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>